<clears throat> Hello everyone, and today I just need to be just a little bit quiet, but today we're going to be talking about, um, basically, um, the possible fight of Jake v Nate Diaz, which is going to be happening this year, so I'm very excited about that fight, um, it's going to be a very good fight, um, yeah, because basically what it's what basically what's happening is that Jake right he lost to Tommy right Jake lo- Jake Jake lost to Tommy basically he lost to Tommy Fury so because of that he's getting a reset and because Tommy said that oh yeah I want a bigger opponent than Jake my opponent's going to be bigger than Jake Tommy is right he's fighting he's fighting Liam Payne in a few days it's crazy he's literally fighting a celebrity he's fighting Liam Payne they said they had an announcement and I I know I know it's Liam Payne I know it's Tommy V Liam Payne I know that's gonna happen and they both have fought so yeah that's also one thing so Tommy is progressing further Tommy Fury is progressing further. He wants a little bit of money, so he's finally in pain. So he's gonna be progressing further. Jake is d- d- downgraded himself back to find UFC guy. So he's gonna be fighting Nate Diaz, and he's gonna be fighting yeah, he's gonna be fighting Nate Diaz in a boxing match and maybe in an MMA fight as well. So boxing, Jake's the crowd favorite. Obviously, he is. He's been a lot of very good opponents. Opponents better than Nate Diaz. Okay. Um, Nate Diaz is also a pretty good fighter. Okay. UFC, he was very good. He beat Conor McGregor and everything. But, he's not as good as Anderson Silva and the people that Jake has fought. So, I think Jake will actually destroy Nate Diaz because again it's another retired UFC fighter another retired man another retired everything you know so since Jake fought Tommy Fury he's very far ahead and I think Nate Diaz is gonna have some trouble now the thing is though is that Jake is a very distant fighter likes to find his reach likes to make him feel comfortable and then he attacks so I think what's going to happen is that Nate Diaz is going to be that guy that's going to keep on pressuring, keep on pressuring, keep on pressuring. He's never going to stop. Nate Diaz is never going to stop pressuring Jake. The only thing that's going to be different is that Jake's going to be the one backing up, finding his reach advantage, countering Nate Diaz, and then coming forward and stepping forward and pressuring Nate. But honestly, I think it's another walk. No offense to Nate Diaz, but I think it's another walk in the park for Jake. And I think Jake's going to win this fight very easily. So, thank you all for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. And yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching. And I'm out. Peace.